post game with Coach Scott Teeter today. You took on the number three in the nation. Uh, your observations on the action today? Uh, I thought for 40, 45 minutes we, we hung with one of the nation's best. Um, and uh, we were able to run our systems. I thought our defense was was on, and Lexi Ball had an outstanding, outstanding performance. But then, um, give BC credit; they just kept on pushing, kept on pushing, and um, and we had some adversity today um, that um, didn't come. I, I honestly thought we gave up, gave up with ten minutes to go in the game when they when they went up by three. The effort and just look on the girls' face and. Um, that's where we need to dig in, dig deep. And we haven't been in that situation before. Um, and it was just like our, our, our starters gave, our gave up at that, at, at that point. Um, and, and you could just tell, and, and we, we have to learn from that. This was kind of a tale of two halves there. You all played great defensively in the first half. You take a five to three lead to the locker room. Uh, what adjustments did you see that BC made to turn this thing back in their favor? Um, I just think they they were they just chipped away. They um, they chipped away. They're they're a, a national powerhouse for a reason, and they got offensive power and and uh, event eventually they were going to hit the back of the net um, and that stuff. And they, they just they just stayed to their game lane. I don't think they changed much systematic uh, systematically up. Um, but when we got a little bit tired, they just kept coming at us. Um, and, and really, really it's, it's no excuse. We were, we were just a step behind, a step late. We gave them more free positions than, than we did in the, in the first half. After this one, of course, you go on the road again. Seems like you all have been the road warriors this year. First to Robert Morris and Brown. What do you say to this team to get them fired back up emotionally and mentally after this game? Uh, well, they have, they have a choice to make. They they really have a choice to make that they had one of the nation's nation stop for forty five minutes that were right in striking distance and couldn't couldn't fit finish it, um, so they have a they have a decision to make what direction that we go in from here. Um, there's a good chance we'll see this team again, um, and when and when we see this team or a similar like a similar team, it doesn't get easier. You got Syracuse, North Carolina, Virginia, and and that games are sixty minutes long, and if we fatigue. I'm gonna to have to play my bench one, and 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 change the way that we're doing it, and um, playing our bench, and go go into a little bit more of a, a development role, um, and and who knows what the output of the game will be at that point. Madison Hooper was pretty decent for y'all in the first half. There with a couple goals, uh, she she's come in and done some good things for you. Let's talk about her play so far. Yeah, I thought I thought Madison had a, had a, um, a little pep to her step today. She was playing up on our toes, and uh, she was attacking hard. Um, and when, when Madison goes hard, um, then, then she, um, she can catch a lot of uh, defenders sleeping. Uh, when, when, when Madison uh, gets going sideways and doesn't get up to full speed, then uh, uh, it tends to be a little bit of a different outcome for her. But uh, today she got up to full speed and, and played hard and made the, the most of her uh, chances. Coach, you're hoping you get on a two-game win streak and come back here on the 31st and uh, take down the Hokies here. That would be nice. All right.